Oh. <laughs> Say it again. Doctors remove a nine pound hairball from a teen's stomach. Um, mm. Aspir Alaskaveska, 18, has been struggling with bad stomach pains. Uh, when it got to the point she couldn't eat or drink without getting sick, she started losing weight. The Kyrgyzstan teen went to the hospital in the capital, Bishnik, where doctors determined she had a ball of hair weighing nearly nine pounds blocking her digestive system. Oh. They removed the hair in an emergency <clears throat> surgery, uh, uh, Yahoo News reports. As for how it got there, it seems as Elzaviska likes to choose the ends of her hair and also eat her hair she picked up from the floor. Mm. She promised doctors that she would break those habits. Her stomach was so badly swollen from bits of hair and wool from the carpet that it literally just oozed out as soon as the wall of the stomach was cut, says one of her doctors who added oh. the hairball may be the largest one ever removed from a person. Her doctor said she would have died of dehydration or malnourishment without the surgery. Uh, I believe the term you're looking for is a bezoar. That's what it's called. It's a uh, B E Z O A R. Now I'm worried. I actually have a bad habit of chewing the end of like my beard hairs if they get too close to my mouth. No, no, no. Here's the thing. A little bit like that. If like I used to chew my hair until I found out about this uh, girl that had the same sort of thing happen. There was even a House episode about it. I don't know if you ever watched House. I, uh, I couldn't get into it. <laughs> no, there was an episode where this guy been <clears throat> balls at random times, mm. and it turns out what it is. He was on several conflicting uh, medication tests to pay mm. for his rent. Like mm. he was doing medical testing. And yeah. uh, he would always lie and say that he wasn't on anything. Oh dear. And uh, so, so it turns out what it was is he had a bezoar of hair because he used to chew. He would chew on his hair, mm -hmm. and the pills got stuck in it. Oof. <laughs> and so they were randomly activating throughout the day. Oof. Well, the next creepy story I found <laughs> is a thirty-eight year. Eight-year-old skeleton removed from woman, 62. Um... Okay. <laughs> I can stop, like... If you want to continue with that one, I haven't stopped recording yet, but that is... Was it like her baby? Uh... Yes, actually. <laughs> oh. Uh, Jehoti Kumar went to the doctors after she started experiencing constant abdominal pain. And experts in the Indian city of Nagpur uh, discovered the cause was a baby skeleton that has been inside of her for 38 years. Aww. Kumar, 62, had a intoscopic uh, pregnancy uh, since she was uh, 24 and was told the fetus growing outside of her womb would not likely survive. Uh, International Business Times reports. At some point, she apparently knew the baby had died and that she would need an operation, but she was scared uh, of surgery and fled the hospital. Instead of opting to get treatment for her abdominal pain in a small clinic, their doctor says, according to the Daily Mail, when the pain came back decades later, however, she allowed doctors to remove the skeleton, which, at, which was inside a calcified sac from her abdomen. Yeah, that actually, that's <sighs> happened before. There was a, a woman who was 90-something, and uh, she had that removed, but by then, the, the it had been so long that the baby was a giant stone, pretty much. Uh, I it's, can't tell you how curled up I am. Uh, I uh, can uh, imagine. The monic fluid, which that protects the fetus, might have been absorbed and uh, soft tissues liquefied over time. Uh, only a bag of bones and some fluid remaining. Yeah, that's that's the way it works. But it's the largest one uh, to date. Yeah. Uh, it, that probably means that it actually did pretty well until it didn't. Mm -hmm. um, no, the, it, it's really interesting how that sort of thing can happen, how your body can mostly counteract it, but, like, when you get any foreign body into your body, 
even if it's like an ectopic pregnancy, uh, what will happen is that the body will wrap bone around it in an effort to isolate it from the rest of your body. Uh. So that's exactly what happened there. Yep. They very much thought it was cancer went to operate and found a surprise. Yep. Uh. Just imagine you're the doctor and you're just like, all right, and there's a face. Actually, stuff like that happens a lot. Yeah. I don't want to think about that. Hey, hey, being a doctor ain't easy. You deal with that shit all the time. Well, uh, being a pharmacy tech isn't easy because people will drop their pants for you. Snert. I think that's a little easier than finding a dead baby. I, I know, but but the thing is, like, as a pharmacy technician, they expect you to actually be no, uh, able to diagnose things. So people will be like, hey, I, I really need to talk to you. And then, like, you go and... Because, like, if it's, you know, low activity, you're like, okay, I can try to assist you. And people will drop their pants for you. Because they need to show you something that apparently they want you to look at and not their doctor. The the answer to, does this look inflamed, is yes. Always yes. <sighs> no, Mr. Stevens, that's not where you put a suppository. <laughs> no, uh, actually, I have, I have another thing. So, you okay. may have heard about this. Uh, Emily and I were talking about this. It, it isn't medically related, though. Do you want to uh, cut uh, it I'm now? fine moving away from uh, the medic. Okay, I'll cut it now. 